Aging is an inevitable process. Our memory begins to deteriorate and our consciousness becomes confused. We can't think fast. Our bodies get covered with prominent wrinkles, skin sags, and bones with joints become brittle and painful. And this is impossible to fix, isn't it? Not exactly. An old lady goes into the kitchen, swallows a few pills, and a couple of hours later, she feels great. Her consciousness wakes up, and memories become brighter. Thoughts flow faster, and her mood rises. The woman feels a surge of strength, and her body becomes younger. Wrinkles smooth out, vision becomes sharper, the spine straightens, the muscles get in shape, and gray hair turns dark again. She gazes in the mirror and realizes that she looks like she did decades ago. And most importantly, she's not a character in some sci-fi movie. The technologies for the rejuvenation of organisms already exist. They are just at an early stage of development. You may have enough time and money to wait and buy this technology. Today, scientists can rejuvenate mice. At Harvard Medical School, scientists worked with old mice. The cells in their eyes were renewed, and they got back their ability to see clearly. And if it's possible with the eyes, then everything else can also be rejuvenated. Scientists did it using an injection with an extract of young mice's blood. Research and experiments in this field have shown that we don't imagine aging correctly. Our bodies have a backup copy of our youth, which means that old cells keep the memory of their young state. Scientists hope to turn on this backup and reverse aging someday. The epigenome helps scientists to understand this complex issue. This mechanism determines which genes to turn on and which to turn off in our body. I mean the genes that are responsible for our health, cells, and tissue conditions. Unfortunately, the older we get, the worse the epigenome works. For example, it can activate the genes that trigger some kind of disease and turn off the genes that protect the body from destruction. This glitch in the epigenome is one of the causes of aging. The operation of this mechanism depends on the environment, our habits, sleep schedule, and nutrition. Theoretically, if the epigenome is stabilized, it starts improving our genes again. This is a difficult task, and it will take years before scientists can achieve impressive results. Such experiments inspire scientists and many people who want to stop aging. The bad news is that you may have to wait too long. The good news is that you can slow aging without expensive technologies. A balanced diet, exercise, good sleep, and vitamins can significantly slow aging. And now, imagine that this medicine appears in luxury clinics. The richest people start buying it. And then something goes wrong. Business people, superstars, and inventors reverse aging, but can't stop the process. That is, the body's cells stop aging, but they also keep returning to their younger state. While ordinary people pass away of old age, billionaires come to the end of their lives young. But the strangest thing is that the offspring of these people are born with the same feature. Soon, the inevitable rejuvenation is spreading around the world like a virus. Not all people are afraid of it. Some want to start their lives as weak and sick old people and end in the prime of life. Some want to experience old age instead of youth. In general, life on Earth changes completely. The most exciting thing is that presidents and politicians of all countries look like teenagers. They are full of strength and energy, but at the same time, they are experiencing puberty. There are already a lot of conflicts in the world. But when teenagers start to rule, the situation worsens. The knowledge of these young people saves the planet from complete chaos. An ordinary teenager experiences a storm of emotions and hormonal surges. But at the same time, they know little about life. But in the new world, teenagers have the experiences and knowledge of wise old people, but still have poor control over their emotions. Schools are filled with old people. And if these establishments used to be noisy places, now they're eerily quiet. It's easier to gain new knowledge at a young age. It's challenging to do this when you're old. That's why school lasts about 20 years. You just can't learn fast. Also, you miss parties and meetings with friends because your health doesn't allow you to do it. As an old person with no energy, you spend all your time just studying. Then, after finishing university, when you have more strength, you start working. And the more you work, the more energy you get. Thus, you earn a lot of money. 
And then, with all these finances, you enjoy your youth pension, full of strength, joy, and happiness. You have fun, you don't work, and you can use the knowledge you've gained over your long life. But on the other hand, everything can turn out exactly the opposite. The economy needs young and strong workers. Old people who receive knowledge at school and university can easily forget it. In addition, older people work more slowly than younger ones. This can lead to a halt in global production of goods. If the world realizes that it's impossible to continue this way, then after birth, elderly people will do nothing for a very long time. They will wait for their brains to become more flexible, and then they will start working. And the older they get, the more work they will take on. Only after becoming very young boys and girls will they retire. The problem with this way is that it's cool and fun to discover the world when you're young and know nothing. But when you're young and already know everything, this can be a little boring for you. And now think about it: what is better, to spend childhood and adolescence studying, making new discoveries, and hanging out with friends, or working hard all the time? The only thing that will remain unchanged will be that strong young people will look after and care for older ones. But let's imagine we have rejuvenation technologies that don't make us too young in an unstoppable way. Let's say we can freeze our age at any biological time we want. How would our lives change in this case? Many would live for 150 and 200 years, and youth would be twice as long. Everyone would be happy, almost everyone. There's a downside to this story. Now, rich people are often healthier than young people, thanks to expensive proper nutrition, medicine, and favorable environmental conditions. If you're a millionaire, you can easily buy a luxury house in the mountains with fresh air and slow down aging this way. People with low salaries live in big cities and inhale exhaust gases and other harmful substances daily. In addition to a good environment, the rich can afford highly qualified trainers. Nutritionists and psychologists—all these things make the gap between the poor and the rich even bigger. And when rejuvenation technologies appear, this distance will become even greater. With the advent of revolutionary pills, genetic engineering scientists may be able to create other boosters. For example, pills that will increase your strength or give you a photographic memory. The difference between different social strata will become simply gigantic. In addition to the financial condition. The elite class will outperform people with low incomes at a physiological level. This can lead to unpredictable, destructive consequences. On the other hand, look at cars. Only rich people could afford to drive a vehicle a hundred years ago. But over time, modern transport has become common for almost everyone. The same goes for medicine. With the development of technology, it can become more accessible to all people. People from wealthy and low-income families will take youth pills before breakfast as vitamins. So let's hope that sooner or later we all will be able to wake up young again after 70 years of living. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.